I don't know what it is about the Pokemon Company International, but it feels like they do a really bad job with their social media most of the time, because we have this update from the Pokemon Unite Twitter. The first pre-register reward has been reached. Congratulations on hitting 1 million pre-registrations. Now, this was announced during the Pokemon Presents that to build up to the release of the Pokemon Unite Mobile version, the more pre-registrations mean we're going to get more rewards. However, that was almost a week ago, because it's August 24th, we only have 1 million of the 5 million goal, and the Pokemon Presents was on August 18th. However, if you go to Japanese social media, as of August 19th, the number of pre-registrations has exceeded 1 million. That looks a lot more optimistic. That builds up a lot more hope. Because this just seems like, oh, well, half of those are Nintendo Switch users and it seems like no one really cares about the game. I also don't know why they're not tweeting, like, August 19th, yo, we hit a million. I mean, what if it happened in the first couple of hours? Like, imagine that, you're just kind of digesting all the information from the Pokemon Presents, and then, boom, like, 5 p.m., oh, we already hit a million downloads for Pokemon Unite. Oh, this seems like it's gonna be a big deal. Let me go and pre-register Pokemon Unite. Like, the more excitement you have, the bigger you make something seem, the more viral it's going to go, and the more incentive people are going to have in this social media mob mentality peer pressure age. So, with this, it's like, yeah, like, this looks way better than, oh, it took a week to barely get a million, yeah, we're not getting Pikachu, and a lot of other people are also reflecting that. We're not going to make it, are we? And there's a lot of replies that are like, yeah, it's not looking good. Also, just idiots in general. I think more people would do it if the game's not pay to win. It's not pay to win. An idiot YouTuber lying about the game doesn't change anything, and you've never even played the game, so you don't even know for yourself. If you played the game, you would know. Getting 30 kills and base camping children has nothing to do with items if you've played Pokemon Unite at all, and it's going to be a very common experience in the first couple of levels, because that's just the skill gap. You play with people that know how MOBAs work, and you're going to destroy people that just want a happy, fun little Pokemon game that aren't competitive at all. So, yeah, like, there's a lot of misinformation that's also kind of suppressing things, but once again, it's like, yo, they need to be on this. They can't wait a week to say, hey, we scraped a million. Like, I don't even know why the Jap- like, why the Pokemon company, while the Japanese side has also waited so long to announce this, because if you announce this on Thursday, or even on Wednesday, if the threshold was met on Wednesday, I guess more- wait, wait. Actually, if you think about it, as of August 19th, Thursday, that's Japan time. So they actually got a million pre-registrations in the first 24 hours and didn't celebrate it. That's kind of crazy because now you're just wasting all the momentum from, from the Pokemon Presents. People excited for Pokemon Legends, people excited for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl, everyone just tweeting and talking about Pokemon, and then you throw this into the mix and now you're already at 2.5 million. Maybe in just a couple of days. Like, it's crazy. And even then, like, 1 million isn't a crazy number if you're comparing it to something like Pokemon Quest. Like, this is Pokemon Unite. This is Pokemon MOBA. This game is a decade in the making because of League of Legends. The only thing my friends talked about when League of Legends was the number one game in the world many years ago at this point was, hey, it would be amazing if this was, if we had a Pokemon MOBA. Like, I'd play a MOBA when it came to Pokemon, but now the MOBA genre is kind of tired. It's all about Battle Royales, and Battle Royales are phasing out even. So, I mean, like, Gaming culture moves on, so I wouldn't call this too little too late, just too late. I don't, I don't think it's too little. Pokemon Unite is amazing, so I mean, you need to either revive the genre, or you need to make Pokemon Mobile bigger than it's ever been, or at least try to come close to Pokemon Go. I feel like it's impossible to beat Pokemon Go, but even then, like, you could get 10% of Pokemon Go. We're talking about serious numbers, because 147 million monthly active players, like, over a billion downloads, I think it hit, like, 2 billion downloads, or something like that. So even if you get fractions of fractions of that, it's a really big deal. And for some reason, the Pokemon company isn't trying to push to make it happen. And I don't know why. They're just like letting people roll over the game and letting all the bad things happen. Like they're updating. They did that survey. The devs legitimately care about this game, but it's not getting the attention that it deserves. And that's another like weird thing. And if you look at this, the Pokemon company does note that the game was downloaded 1 million times in the first two days on the Nintendo Switch. If you're going off of just this tweet where it's like, oh, it took almost a week to barely get a million downloads, or not downloads, but pre-registrations for mobile, that means the Switch version of Pokemon Quest is beating Pokemon Unite. 
dead game. Why do I even want pre-register? Why do I even care to play it? Why do I even care to get it on my Nintendo Switch now to practice before mobile? Like, the Pokemon Company has completely failed at following up for the hype of this game. And there's also some other crazy numbers. The company behind the Pokemon franchise says that the game has been downloaded seven and a half million times across Switch, Android, and iOS devices, and that was by July 9th, 2018, right after the mobile release of Pokemon Quest. And also, Pokemon Quest has just been like a hit over the last couple of years. Like some of my most evergreen content, some of my most viewed content on the channel is Pokemon Quest. And people keep coming to, people want me to make Pokemon Quest videos. There's nothing more I can do in that game. I've effectively beat it. I have a living Dex. And I have like halfway through a level 100 living Dex. And there's no point of even completing that. So Pokemon Quest is still doing pretty well even today. And I can only imagine how many more millions of downloads it's gotten since then. Because it seems like it's kind of had just a slow grow. It's been doing pretty well over time. Also, we have just the classic comparisons to other Pokemon games. Pokemon Sword and Shield approaching 22 million units. Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee also still selling really well and it's like well Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee and Pokemon Sword and Shield had all that hate behind it and we're still able to break 10 million downloads for a $60 game or a $60 game with $30 DLC and all of this other weird stuff behind it but it's like a free Switch game, a free mobile game. You know where, where are the numbers? How many downloads did they get? Did they get a million downloads in the first two days? Did they get more? Where, where's the celebration of Pokemon Night? Where are these announcements? Because we used to see that. It was like, oh, uh, Pokemon Sun and Moon shipped 10 million copies for launch. And then we, when we get in like the eShop download numbers and everything, like it was crazy how many records we've seen being broken by new Pokemon games and then we just don't get those updates anymore. And again, that's what Bill type. It's like, oh, should I play Pokemon Unite? Well, not if no one's playing it, but if everyone's getting into it, it just creates a snowballing effect. The Pokemon Company is mishandling social media and announcements in a very surprising way. I mean, you go to quote tweets, people are saying the same thing. Lamau, we're never getting that Pikachu. Like, people have given up. Yo, make sure you pre-register. We need this. It's getting desperate. Please pre-register. We probably won't hit the goal. Like, and even then, there's not a lot of quote tweets. There's not a lot of attention on this tweet for something that's had a million downloads or something. So, yeah, the Pokemon Presents came and went. Seems like even the Nintendo Switch um, launch of Pokemon Unite has came and went. Like, a lot of people are disinterested in the game. So I'm expecting a second wave for the mobile launch. But it seems like even that's not attracting any new people or any kind of interest. Like, how does the new free Nintendo Switch Pokemon game not have 10 million downloads in the first month when, if we, ha if we look to this, like, how many Nintendo Switch units are out there? So dedicated video game sales units. Here's... There's 90 million Nintendo Switch out there. And one in four of them have Pokemon Sword or Shield, and you can't even get like half of those people to play the new free Pokemon game and stick with it. Yeah, I've, I've been talking about the problems with the Pokemon community for a while and how it's just like influencers are totally corrupting th the community. I think that's also one of my big things about Pokemon Unite where it's like people aren't playing it because the content creators about the game because all they know is hacking and cheating and rigging like uh, their let's plays and their locks and stuff. So if they look bad, they don't want to cover it and then they're going to manipulate their audience away from the content that makes them look bad. And also we've just been like coddling Zoomers and Millennials and making people feel bad if they lose instead of trying to grow to win. Also, the same thing has kind of turned the Pokemon community away from anything competitive or multiplayer to where they don't want it. Like, they're praising Legends Arceus for being a single-player experience. Like, everything in Pokemon community is so warped. And as silly as it is, it's like, Pokemon Unite is too much of a real game for the Pokemon community. The Pokemon community can't handle a MOBA. That's sad. That's sad, the state that we're in. But also, again, like, I, I think the Pokemon company is dropping the ball. The community is dropping the ball. Everything's just kind of like... Again, I think it's Pokemon Unite is underperforming when it doesn't deserve to, and all these other things are just going wrong, and idiots on social media, all that other stuff, etc. It's, it's something. But yeah, can we transfer our progress from mobile to Switch? Yeah, they you can access the same account for multiple devices. It's all Nintendo Switch. You log on, you got your stuff, mobile or Switch. And it's not even like transferring accounts, so... It's all this other stuff, like the information gap, people being weird. I don't know. Either way, I wanted to update with the information, and I also wanted to clarify on the information to make sure people are as informed as possible, because that is what my channel does. You find only the best, most complete information on the Velocify channel compared to other fraudulent creators and all that other stuff, because it's like, my first thought was, all right, 
What does Japan have to say? Because Japan, they have better patch notes when it comes to Pokemon Unite, more information when it comes to like main series Pokemon game trailers and information drops. And here, this paints a, a much better picture, even though I do have my disagreements with like, why? Why, why are they coordinating this with, you know, English social media? Why not just drop the information as soon as you have it to get people even more excited? It's like, now you're trying to recapture the hype of the Pokemon Presents. It, it's just weird. But either way, you know, depending on what you hear, depending on who's trying to spin what, there's different takes on this, and this looks a little better. So if you guys enjoyed the video, hope you all have a nice day. Thank you very much for watching.